He did sub in, I believe, for an RLCS team trying to qualify. They go off the backboard. Oh! <laughs> He is currently banned from participating in the RLCS. Six flusters to an end point win. Seiko! One year competitive ban effective immediately. The RLCS rules state that you must be at least 15 years old to compete and register to your team to avoid penalty. And an unproven 16 year old called Seiko played in a qualifier and even placed within the top 32 teams. But it was discovered that he illegally played with a 13 year old prodigy named Zen on his teammates account and all players involved were banned for one full year. In contrast to this, with the RLCS team Endpoint finishing their season with a disappointing 10th place, they were looking to make a change to their roster with a few players trying out for Virtuoso spot, including the unproven and recently unbanned Seiko. Joining Endpoint would give him an opportunity that not many players get to go from just a ranked grinder to a professional player and to start his dreams of a world championship. This is something Seiko would not want to be passed up on. It was a tough decision, but Endpoint narrowed it down to two players, being a well-established pro already on an RLCS team and Seiko. A wrong decision here could easily dig this team deeper into the ground, but ultimately Endpoint took a chance on Seiko to save the team. But Endpoint coming through in third. Oh, we were shocked the whole time and Seiko shocking the defense. Seiko surely wins it for Endpoint. They survived for so long and then 13 seconds left, they get their goal. Drill again, relating waves taken out the game, but then he's brought back in by his teammate Seiko so and it's Seiko that puts it away. Having Seiko on the roster for Endpoint just to me has elevated them to a brand new level. Now they face another giant task in Team BDS. This is the team to be and they proved that all last season long. Seiko had just started to show the world his astounding mechanics and amazing rotational play in his debut main event. But it was safe to say no one really expected Endpoint to beat the three-time consecutive regional champions. Oh wow, already BDS have scored. Seven seconds in. Now Monkey Moon was very similar to this, being a player that can single-handedly change a game with solo plays and top-tier boost management. When Monkey is on point, BDS just simply wins games, and this was happening. In order to beat BDS and win, they would need to consistently counter the BDS plays by doing this all while shutting down the threat of Monkey Moon with empty space. Hat trick for Monkey Moon, top corner on the open net. But Endpoint did have a plan. In game two, they showed a lockdown playstyle, focusing on consistent fundamentals and utilizing Seiko's outplay potential and speed to create constant offensive pressure on BDS. Is Seiko already up? He's on challenge! Oh, oh, oh. And that's number three! Seiko just seemed to always be in the right position and a dangerous threat to any defender on transitions. Endpoint kept up their momentum in the series, causing them to also win both game three and four by one goal. And going into game five, it started to look like Endpoint could actually pull this victory off. What a story that would be, <laughs> but he's got to get one more win under his belt. Monkey there to clean it up. But... Against Vitality, against Vodafone Giants. Oh, what a oh, shot. Oh, Monkey There's Bid. And I missed. Monkey Bid follows up in his own clear. 1-0 BDS. They look to try and send us over to Champions Field, but this time Metsnar is far too quick. Whoa. Oh, and Seiko has got one each. All the way up, Seiko keeps the ball alive. He wants to start here now, oh, but it's my. overtime. Goal for Endpoint would crown them European Open champions. Overtime there for BDS. Phenomenal passing, but the shot denied by Seiko. Now Monkey Moon with the reset. He makes the play. We go to game seven again. Monkey Moon does it all himself. Heavy over the last 10 minutes. His relating wave with the chance. What a save by oh. Mark by eight. We got six saves in the first minute there for BDS. Four for Mark by eight. And now here they've got a chance to the other end. It's Monkey Moon and he scores it. They only needed one goal, and it's paid off. Straight back into the midfield, and here's where the clock becomes Endpoint's least favorite thing. Relating wave. He's gone for the backboard. Has he oh. got it? It's just underneath him. There they go! go. It's so than it needs to be! Seiko has got us back to a tight game! And it seems so much time now. They might have the last attack of the game. High, high over Monkey Moon, though. He has to settle for a clear ball. Now Seiko. Oh, down. Messed it up! The shot goes too low. They didn't have a bounce to play with. It is going to be overtime. Find himself a bit of time. Now Metsonar is past two. Marked by eight needs to be the one to stall in the position. Oh, and he doesn't do so. Relaying wave scores. And point have done it. Seiko had just won the first RLCS main event he ever played and would continue to exceed expectations in the online regionals with Endpoint as they would qualify for the fall major being Seiko's first land. But all this glory may have been false hope for the young Frenchman. 
It is rookie versus rookie with a couple of the old guard on either side. And it makes sense. Everybody is talking about those two players, Seiko and First Killer. Seiko can't get back to the 50. And Faze back on oh, offense. Oh, oh, from First Killer off the ground. Again, the 1v1 play around two players. And then Alu no. above everybody else. No. Back to First Killer. Seiko in front of the ball. He slows down Faze for now. But AJ wins a big one. AJ! Oh, he can't get there! Faze feast on him! Through a tough run, Endpoint would go on to finish top 8 at the Major, while the rivals team BDS would win the whole tournament. Top 8 at your first LAN isn't a bad placement by any means, but with Seiko's dreams of a world championship, this wasn't enough for him. Seiko seemed to hit a barrier of going any further with Endpoint as they would finish worse in the Winter Major. But fortunately for him, despite BDS winning the Fall Major, they decided to replace Mark by 8 and would try out Vatira and Seiko with plans to form a full French power team. BDS ultimately went with Seiko and gave him everything he needed to make his dream a reality, and with an amazing online performance, Seiko would test himself with his new team at the RLCS Spring Major. But something unexpected happened. BDS against Team Secret. Ready right here. It is the all French roster against the all Brazilian. The chances running out now for game number one. And it looks like they're just not finding any opportunities. Not on target as we play on again. Math is going to be up. Seiko just about beating up. Sad is there for the shot. And he's there for the winner. Release down to Sad who will find Math again who has just been off the leash all series long. Opportunities like those can happen in a lead now. Team Secret, another shot. Whoa. That's going to be in Knight with the angle of his life. BDS not happy with these results Ooh. and a miss there. That's going to be another one. Much respect and end up spilling the ball out loosely as Extra will get back and won't be able to get back. It is five. Do not scratch your eyes. This is unbelievable. After being swept by Secret, BDS would face Pioneers in an elimination match where things wouldn't get much better for them. A team that was meant to be an improvement with Seiko was bombing out of the land when it mattered most and dropped out of the last tournament before Worlds without a single game win. Going into the World Championships, they would need to break this land curse and find their stride once again. Or Seiko wouldn't get another shot at his dream for another 12 RLCS tournaments. BDS trying to cure the curse on land. No more question marks have been put other than BDS, the biggest question mark in Rocket League right now. This is when BDS realized something. They simply needed to stop overthinking and just play their game how they did online. The pressure was on this team to perform since the beginning, and now that they've already hit rock bottom, they had nothing to lose. Along with mental coaching from their coach Mew, BDS were able to perform against Renegades, taking the win and suppressing their nerves. They carried this momentum and mental shift going into their next challenge facing North America's version 1, led by the rising beast mode. And it's he who will get the 100 boost, be able to see it away, take those last few seconds, uh -oh. 14 BDS, uh -oh. and he sees it all away. Team BDS are going to take uh, game 1. It's got a lot more hits on that ball, which is what version 1 needs. Really. Yes, oh, truly extra. extra from the ceiling. He makes it look easy. The forgotten team somewhat are reminding us all how good they can be. Monkey Moon is charging and again. They want a fit. Oh. They want blood. They want fire and thunder. They want this world championship, but first, they want this series. With a near perfect sweep, BDS had just qualified for playoffs. But could they beat the greatest teams in the world that have been performing when it matters most? So much better. They caught the attention turns to them. Can they stop the French Bayamon in his tracks? Or maybe not mistake of the double oh! Pressure building. Season on the line. And time ticking down. You need a goal. Go you down. need to stop Atomic. And you just can't do it. Team BDS are your semi-finalist. G2 gets Bays in the semi. Chicago after the, the demolition. After a disastrous London major, many questions are asked, but they're here to answer them. Gaynaps going off the ceiling, does get the dunk, does get the ball, oh, 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 goal at Furia didn't really have much to play in. Nice take go. That's much better. In big money moments like this, has to find a way to stop Gaynaps. That's it. G2 gets another shot at a world championship. It's going to be his own opportunity, Furia. Oh, Gaynaps. Committing on the play. Commit. Atomic knows it's open. Commit. And he's gonna give G2 the top. And then the storm, and now Monkey Moon. Moon. He's got a wide open net. And BDS into the lead. Now Monkey Moon's down. Oh, 